The Tao of Self-Confidence, Episode 270. Welcome to the Tao of Self-Confidence, where I share stories of amazing women who have discovered their inner journey to self-confidence. Visit our website at thetaoofselfconfidence.com. Your inner journey to self-confidence awaits. Well, hello, friend. Welcome to the Tao of Self-Confidence, where I share stories of amazing women who have discovered their inner journey to self-confidence. I'm your host today, Sheena Yap Chan, and today I have a phenomenal lady on the show. She is an artist and also a model, and she's here today to share her story and tips on self-confidence. So without further ado, I'm, I'm going to introduce you to Ji Zhang. Ji, how are you today? Maybe Hi. you can fill in a little bit more about yourself to the listeners. Sure. Hi. How are you guys? I'm Ji Zhang. I'm 19 years old, and I'm going to George Mason right now for art and technology with a concentration in graphic design. I mean, most people probably know me through um, my Instagram, just being online, my online presence. But now I'm trying to branch out my work off the internet with design, fashion design and graphic design, and even modeling. Awesome. Well, thanks for sharing that. And G, what's your cultural background? I come from a first-generation Chinese-American family, so my family is just um, 100% Chinese. We come from Fuzhou, China. Thanks for sharing that. And what would be your favorite self-confidence quote? I, like, hop around to a couple. I actually keep them as, like, my wallpaper on my phone. The one I'm using right now is... One thing I've learned is that not everything needs to happen this very second. Some things take time, and that really relates to me trying to get different work out there and not trying to trying to compare trying to put myself down when I compare myself to someone else's I guess someone else's like journey where they're at their success to where I'm at right now thanks for sharing that and I think too is like being Asian women like we're so great at like comparing ourselves to others right because it's like it's been a part of our lives you know, for most of the part, whether it's school, it's like, you know, so-and-so got an A and you only got a B. What's <laughs> no. wrong with you? <laughs> and I actually have a twin sister, so it's like, and I have like an older sister, so it's definitely like a lot of comparing, but we get that a lot. And actually, it's funny you brought up comparing, because I was thinking about how on social media, when I was younger, or even on TV, there wasn't a lot of people I could compare myself to. So now that I'm on social media, I like follow a bunch of like other Asian models like myself, other Asian designers, because I just think when I was younger, no one had that. And I think even some of the people that follow me just see me in themselves because a majority of my followers are actually um, Asian American women as well. Awesome. And it's great when you can follow someone who people can relate to. I think that's really important, which is why I created the podcast, I want to showcase especially Asian women out there who are doing, you know, amazing things, um, mm-hmm. kind of like what you're doing. So, you know, great quote that you mentioned. And in your own words, how would you define self-confidence? I think self-confidence to me is just being assured of yourself, just without any uh, anyone else's input, just knowing like you're doing the right thing, you're good enough, you're being smart, you're skilled enough. Thanks for sharing that. And I think it's important, right, knowing that we are more than enough to just go out there and do our thing, you know, whatever it may be. And sometimes, you know, it might take maybe 10 weeks, 10 years, or, or you know, the length of time is, doesn't really matter. It's just going out there and doing it. So great definition that you mentioned. And, you know, what was your life like before your discovery of self-confidence? I think, well, my discovery of self-confidence probably happened last year when I took when I um, began applying for colleges and I wasn't sure what to apply for, obviously, well, I took nursing in high school and obviously like the the path for me was like study biology, go on to med school and stuff. And that's something like I could do. My grades are fine. Had a 4.1 and everything, but it just didn't like, I don't know, something like stopped me from applying to any schools. I would just like, right when it got to like, what's your major? I would halt, stop. Like I couldn't like finish the application past that so I was like what if I just applied for like art because that's what I've always wanted to do and I put aside that for so long after because of like my parents and everything not that it's like any of their it's like 
not that I have any like negative feelings towards that, but it just after I applied for art, it just felt like a feeling of relief, but also fear because to me, like doing medical career, that's like the easier path. It's secure. You have a job. And but with art, it's unpredictable. But after I took that leap of faith to go with art and I began school and I was getting good feedback and just meeting people and all that, starting modeling and everything, it just like reminded me that everything would be okay. So I think before discovery, it was a lot of relying on other people. After discovery, it's just taking control of my life telling myself, as long as I'm following my passions, everything will be okay in the end. Thanks for sharing that. You know, it's not it's not always easy to go after what you love to do, especially when there's so many people out there who kind of like tell you, you know, are you crazy? What are you doing? Like, this is not your path. Like, you're not supposed to do this. Not, you're not going to make money on that. What are you, what are you doing? You know, every, like, you have all these like, voices all around you. And sometimes you you doubt yourself at times. It's like, am I really going the right path? But you knew in your heart that it was it was that art was you know what you were meant to do, and yeah. now you know you're you're you have a huge Instagram following. You're going after what you want, you know, being an artist, being a model, and you know, to any woman who's listening to your episode, you know, they may be in a similar journey that you're in. What would be that one tip you would give to them? Well, I actually mentioned sometimes in my post like steps in my journey and just reminding my followers like thanking them and stuff because mm-hmm. they give me the confidence to keep going and anyone in my path honestly just it's your life in the end you just have to be selfish sometimes I know it's so hard mm-hmm. to like not think of your friends not think of your family and what they think but you know at the end of the day what you're going to be happy doing just trust in yourself Follow your heart sometimes, even though it might be crazy, but yeah. Those are great tips that you mentioned, and it's true. Sometimes you just got to trust your gut and go for it. And, you know, sometimes it's scared doing something that's unknown to us, but it's it can also be like this magical place that we can get in. So love the tips that you mentioned. And if there's, if there's any of our listeners wanted to get to know a little bit more about you and what you do, is there any links or social media profiles we can connect with? Oh, yeah. I, of course, my Instagram is at ZH underscore NG. That's where I'll post all my photos. And I started a website, which is gjie-zang.com. And on there, I'm building my portfolio. So it'll begin with like my modeling photos. And then I'll have my designs, any um, photography I do and my art. Awesome. Thanks for sharing that. And to our listeners, if you want to connect with G, you can also head on over to the Tao Selfconfidence dot com and search for G's name. Her show notes will pop up along with everything else we talked about. And I just really want to thank G for taking the time to share her story and tips with us on self confidence. So thank you so much. Thank you. I just hope you guys can take some stuff to heart and really go after what you want to and Just learn as much as you can, feel your abilities, be the best you can be. Thanks for sharing that. And, you know, it was great having you on the show. And to our listeners, be on the lookout for another new episode of another amazing woman's journey to self-confidence. And we'll talk to you soon. Bye for now. Thank you for tuning in to another amazing episode of the Tao Self-Confidence. Want to learn how you can use podcasting to market your business? Download your free report by visiting our website at thetowofselfconfidence.com. Your inner journey to self-confidence awaits.